Dear pelagic anglers and zander fishermen, I would like to present you today one of our new baits for this type of fishing. You probably know we were one of the first doing this type of fishing together with Jürgen Larsen many years ago and the twenties were the bait to catch the big zanders. Now behind the curtain we have done a good and great research and we came up with a lure with an even better one. With a lure that makes a very natural silhouette for the predators when they focus on the bait which is hanging pelagic style in the water. And this one is the 20s pelagic V tail. And this one you can get with hat, so rigged and ready, but also without hat. It comes in six different fish catching colors, very natural colors that works on all these big lakes and big waters where the huge predators are waiting for a nice prey, a nice meal in the middle of the water. These are the two fellows we are talking about. The 20s pelagic style without the jig head and the rigged and ready version. Both versions are perfect for that type of fishing and not too big, not too small, exactly the right meal for big predators. The good thing on this is we have used very thin but extremely workable fins which have a lifelike presentation underwater. They get a little bit spreaded once they are in the water so the fish which are after the bait will see a very very natural bait which makes them really chasing it. So this is one and this is the ready rigged version. It comes really ready to fish. The only thing that you need is the right trace, the rod, and then you can start fishing with it. Well, for you guys which are fishing pelagic, there are a very, very few colors which all of you like a lot. One of them is definitely bass orange. So this is back one of the most favorite colors on the 20s, now also in the 20s pelagic. And this is in rigged and ready, but also you can get it as the normal shed. Headlight. Super cool color, very, very natural. Next to it, finally, so many anglers have contacted us over the last years. Please bring the black mamba back. Here is it, the black mamba for that type of fishing, you know, perfect for very, very clear waters or if you fish at night, the black mamba is one of the most fish catching colors. So this is coming back again. And here is also next to hot olive and this color as well, this is a really very cool color. Looks like a real small little zander and uh, in clear waters also one of my favorites. So in total we talk about six colors and when they come ready rigged with the head, also the head color attached here up front matches 100% the hatch. Also lifelike eyes you have here on top of it, you have the eyelet to put in your snap, but you have also another eyelet here because sometimes some anglers prefer an extra stinger which they attach to the belly so you can put the extra stinger here or if you want to fish the jig head as it is in a separate way with a normal shed you can also rig it underneath but that is a different story and how this goes have a look here and this is a shetty screw-in hat it is in the natural silver color so it will match a lot of baits and you can use it also on the normal Shetties. I prefer the 16 centimeter shetties. That's a perfect combination. You can fish it in deep waters, vertical jigging, but also if you want to fish it in strong current. And don't get me wrong, this is also something you can fish also in the sea for pollock and codfish when you do some lighter casting or with some bigger sheds for halibut in shallower conditions. The jig head itself, it's 70 gram, so you can fish it even under the most windiest conditions or if you have a lot of current. The bait itself, it's 30 grams, so altogether here you talk about 100 gram weight. The whole setup is a double swivel with two strong split rings, comes with a treble hook and all the treble hook points are exposed. So you get a maximal hook ratio on that. We have made a very clever click system here which is fixed on the back of your soft bait. Once you hook the fish and the fish is hooked and will be played, it comes off. You can play the fish safely. It turns even with a very aggressive jumping pike 
you will have no problem with it, with it and uh, it will not be destroyed after you landed the fish. And if you want to present it the next time, you just take these two exposed hooks on this clip, you put that in and all the three points and barbs are out and they are big enough. You can see that here very clearly they are wider than the shed itself. So what you get is the perfect hook ratio on that. This 20s pelagic will get the big ones, that's for sure.